Harvey Weinstein pleaded not guilty to sexually assaulting five women in Los Angeles. He made that plea earlier today during his first court appearance here after being extradited from New York yesterday. NBC 4's Ted Chin joining us live now from downtown L.A. with details from the courtroom. Ted. Kathy, for Harvey Weinstein's accusers in Southern California, his conviction in New York wasn't enough. They wanted him to answer to charges in a Los Angeles courtroom, and today they got just that. This day has, is long overdue. Attorney Gloria Alred says Harvey Weinstein in an L.A. court, he was barely visible behind his attorneys today, means the alleged victims she represents will finally have their shot at justice. There has been to date no access to justice for the persons who allege that they are victims and for whom charges are filed in the L.A. case. Weinstein already sentenced to 23 years in prison after his conviction in New York for sexually assaulting two women before being extradited to Los Angeles. NBC4 exclusively capturing his arrival in Burbank on a private jet yesterday. The L.A. County case involves five women and 11 counts of sexual assault alleged between 2004 and 2013. Weinstein has pleaded not guilty to all charges. They are not corroborated by any scientific forensic evidence, by any credible reliable evidence. Weinstein's attorneys are arguing that the earliest alleged incidents fall outside the statute of limitations, but Allred is hoping that some of his more than 80 accusers who are not part of the criminal charges will be allowed to testify that his actions were part of a pattern. Such testimony was allowed in New York. That's one of the fundamental unfairness that we face in this case is that these charges do stem from so many years ago. Allegations of sexual assault and rape often take a long time for a victim to report. Weinstein's attorney has tried to block his extradition to Los Angeles by arguing that he did uh, treatment for his uh, failing eyesight in New York, but the LA County Sheriff's Department has said that it will take care of him medically here. Reporting live from downtown Los Angeles, Ted Chen, NBC4 News, back to Universal City.